Hi guys, welcome to another time-lapse tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I painted this lovely portrait, which I've titled Gala Girl. Now I begin this portrait using a watercolour background. This is actually an oil over watercolour and I do cover the entire technique in this video here. Um, so do check that out. It is perfectly safe to paint oil over watercolour. So with this portrait, I do want it as an oil portrait, but this lovely watercolour background will really um, add some interest. Once I've applied the colours, I start to tip the canvas board around so that all these colours blend and merge directly on the canvas. And once I'm happy with that, I start to drop some salt into that wet background to really create some interest and texture. Once you're completely happy with the background, you want to use a hairdryer and dry that off. Now, to seal my drawing, I'm actually putting a very, very pale wash of burnt umber over the whole of the, um, the image. And what this is going to do, once it's dried, it's going to seal that drawing ready for the oil painting stages. And again, I'll use a hairdryer to dry everything off. Next, I switch to oil paint and I cover over the whole of the canvas with some burnt umber. I'm going to begin erasing the oil paint and adding on my lights and darks. And again, I cover that entire technique with a full demonstration in this video here. Begin adding some darks with more burnt umber and then I erase using a variety of different tools such as Q-tips or a typist eraser and anything that really will remove the paint to reveal the white of the canvas underneath. The idea behind this is I'm trying to render this as a finished portrait in one colour to really get a detailed underpainting. So as you can see, I'm really beginning to build up that detail in the underpainting. This underpainting alone took two hours to complete, so it's far too long for a YouTube tutorial, but hopefully this gives you a lovely snapshot of the whole process. Once my underpainting is dry, I then begin to add my colours to that underpainting using the underpainting as a map. So where I see the lighter tones on my underpainting, I'm going to place a lighter flesh colour. Where I see a more shaded tone, I'm going to start adding some shadows to my flesh tones. I use the underpainting as a map for, to help me place and position my colour layers.
the full real-time version of this lesson is available along with a whole library of other tutorials over on the Mazar Academy and all the links are in the description box below. There are also lots of free lessons on the Academy and you don't need an account to access those don't need an account to access all the free classes, visit mazartstudio.com and select explore classes. From there, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to where you'll see all the free tutorials. If you click this link, it'll open up and show you all the free things that are available at Mazart Studio Academy. Here I begin to establish all the tones that I'm seeing on the scarf, building up the lights and darks that I can see before worrying about adding all the floral details. Once I'm happy with all the lights and darks, I begin to add some of the patterns that I can see using the reference very, very loosely, not trying to be a slave to that reference photo. I'm working wet into wet so the colour on the scarf isn't dry before I begin adding these details. For the hands, I follow the same principles using that underpainting as a map to be able to establish where I position my lighter skin tones next to my darker skin tones. Before finishing the details on the hands, I now have to do all of the details on the apple. Start to establish the shadow shapes that I can see on the apple. I really do take my time positioning my lights and darks, really concentrating on the tonal values. Once I'm happy with the apples, I continue on the hands and begin to add all the final details to the hands. As we come towards the end of the portrait, I switch to a liner brush to start adding some final details. The small little details on the nails, some small hairs and any final highlights. Mm -hmm. 
finally sign in the painting once I'm completely happy. I really do hope you've enjoyed this preview. This is quite a long tutorial and much too long than can be enjoyed on the YouTube platform. But hopefully this preview has given you a few tips and an insight into my processes. Please like, subscribe and all that lovely stuff to support the channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video.